the end. Oh, I hope this turns out better than the last one. Team, only you're a little foggy on the rules and don't realize that it's played in the gym with bigger balls in a basket. Talk about a long way to go for a joke. A journey of a thousand miles begins with the first step. So what's going on? Uh, I'm trying to write a short story, but I can't get past the first line. It was a dark and stormy night. <sighs> oh, I'm gonna fail writing class. If you want, I can tell your teacher that you're the least creative person I know. Maybe I can score you some pity points. Uh, I am not the least creative person, Mr... <sighs> Brother person standing there. Uh huh. Oh, hey, Java. What you got there? This big, Martin. Really big. Wow. Evan Prince is coming to Torrington. Evan Prince, the writer? No, Evan Prince, the master. Evan Prince, the legend. He's the greatest writer of the 21st century. I've read all of his novels Revenge of the Mangled Monster, Swarm of the Giant Bees. <laughs> Some master. All he does is write spooky books. Paranormal extravaganzas, I believe you mean? No, spooky books, I believe I mean. Yeah, you're just jealous. Huh? Me think he great writer. You've read his novels? Oh, books on tape. Me love Curse of the Cave People. Very accurate. He's doing a book signing at the Torrington Bookshop tonight. You guys want to come? Me in. Me out. I've got enough paranormal extravaganzas in my life without Evan Prince. Come on, it'll be fun. Plus, if you meet a real author, maybe you'll get inspired to write something that doesn't totally stink. <laughs> Thanks for the encouragement, Martin, but I'll pass. Hmm. Wow, I'm gonna meet Evan Prince. Someone dressed up like William the Crazed Hamster from The Rodent of Romania. Oh, and look, there's the Ghost Queen from The Haunted Castle. Oh, I should have come in costume. Curse of the Cave People, right? Great costume. Oh, thanks. I definitely should have come in costume. Now look, Job, when we get to Evan Prince, don't start fawning. What mean fawning? You know, gushing, carrying on, crying, making a fool of yourself. Fawning bad. Got it. Hi. <gasps> Evan Prince, you're Evan Prince! Ah! Martin, fawning bad, remember? Did you have something you wanted me to sign? I love your writing. I love your books. I love everything about you. I want to be you. You're Evan Prince. I'm talking to Evan Prince. <laughs> Uh, maybe I'll start with you. Nice costume, by the way. That one I hear. I am so excited. I want to be a writer just like you. I know everything about you. Nobody knows everything about me. Oh, sure I do. You only eat crunchy food. You only wear white socks. Your last few novels were written on an old typewriter. I think that's so cool. So retro. What else do you know about my typewriter? <laughs> oh, I know that you don't go anywhere without it. That's so true. I've got it right here. Would you like to see it? Really? I can see it? Wow. You like it, don't you? Yes, I do. Then say it. Say that you like it, and it's yours. Is it Java or him a little creepy? I like your typewriter and would give anything to own it. Then consider yourself <laughs> its new owner. Now please, take it. <laughs> oh, oh, yes, oh, yes, 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 yes! Uh, Mr. 
Mr. Prince, I, I can't take your typewriter. Yes, yes you can, and you will. Um, mm, I, I, I insist. Well, okay then, thanks. Come on, Java. Goodbye, young man, uh, and good luck. You're gonna need it. Oh, I can't wait to get back to school so I can start my first story. I've got Evan Prince's typewriter. Sorry, Di, but ever since I got this typewriter from Evan Prince, I've been a writing machine. This is the third story I've finished since last night. Three stories since last night? Uh-huh. I wrote Curse of the Mad Marionette, Rise of the Zombie Dog, and now this, mm. my greatest work, Attack of the Crazy Circus Clowns. The center. Over there. Down. Martin! Uh, buddy! Uh, hey, Billy. Mom? Big guy? We came as soon as we could. So where are we off to this time? The town of Torrington. The town of Torrington? But that's Boringville. We know. We go to school there. Hmm. Are you aware that people in town were attacked last night by flying creatures of some kind? Flying creatures? Several witnesses reported seeing them silhouetted against the moon, but we don't have a positive ID on what type of creatures they were. A number of residents are also reported missing. Do we know exactly where the attack took place? The Torrington Bookshop. <sighs> uh, Java and I were there last night. That's where the book signing was. Evan Prince was autographing books. Really? Evan Prince? <gasps> I love his work. Not you, too. He's writing the sequel to The Screaming Harpy of Hoboken. I can't wait. Java Hopi okay? There's only one way to find out. <sighs> hmm. Whoa. Look like someone have big fight. Hello? Anyone here? Hello, Mr. Prince? Are you still here somewhere? What this? It looks like... Say it! Slime. Yes! Ugh. Let's hit it with a slime scan and see what we come up with. You watch activated. Slime scan selected. Analysis complete. Huh, 60% water, 12% protein, 10% sugars, fats, salts, and amino acids. This stuff is royal jelly. Royal jelly? It's a substance that comes from the glands inside the heads of worker bees. They feed it to bee larvae who might grow to become queen bees. Where did you learn so much about royal jelly? From Evan Prince's book, Swarm of the Giant Bees, of course. My mistake. For a moment, I thought you may have paid attention during science class. Oh. Whoa, look at that. Look like sword. That's no sword. It's a giant stinger. Guys, are you seeing a pattern here? Flying creatures, royal jelly giant stinger? It's just like Swarm of the Giant Bees. Somehow that story has come to life. Martin, you need to take a deep cleansing breath. <sighs> Will my cleansing breath get the buzzing out of my ears? It, it come from over there. Why am I always the one who has to open the scary doors? Well, I do it, but I'm holding the chair. <sighs> Oh, I could have sworn the buzzing was coming from inside the locker. Uh, or from over it! Backside 
visual tracer selected. I gotta call mom. Ah, Agent Mystery. How things go at the bookstore? Really, really not so good. Diana was kidnapped by a giant bee. I think it came from Swarm of the Giant Bees. Something brought the bees from that story to life. As much as it pains me to do this, I must agree with you. Really? I, I mean, uh, yes, uh, good. We did a global check. Right after Prince published his last book, Revenge of the Sea Creatures, there was an attack on a cruise ship by, you got it, sea creatures. At first, the center didn't make the connection, but now... I hit the giant bee with the virtual tracer. Java and I are going after Diana. Wait a second. Do you know if Prince has ever written anything about clowns, marionettes, or zombie dogs? Uh, why do you ask? Because those monsters are on the loose in Torrington Academy right now. Look. <laughs> Mom, Prince didn't write those stories. I did, on the typewriter that he gave me. That's it. The typewriter is somehow the key. Send Java back to Torrington and have him hold off the monsters until you and Diana can get there. Me? Alone? You're right, Java. I'll send Billy to help you. <laughs> Why me no feel safer? Giant bees are sloppier than I am. I know these glasses. Oh, you saved me. Thank goodness. Mr. Prince, what's going on? Nice. Diana, say hello to Evan Prince. He's the one who created the giant bees. Oh, really? Ow! Uh, hello. It wasn't me. It was my typewriter. Uh, don't you mean my typewriter? Is in the one I used to create an insane marionette, a zombie dog, and a malevolent clown? I should have warned you, but I was so happy to be free of it. You see, the typewriter is cursed. It turns its owner into an incredible writer. But unfortunately, all the stories that are written on it come true. So why'd you give it to me? You admired it. That's how it works. Once someone says that they like it, it becomes theirs. Huh. Fickle little machine, isn't it? Yes, but, uh, but I couldn't take living with it anymore. And then you came along and admired the typewriter. Now it's your problem. Ah! Billy, use 
heavier book. I don't believe it. You thought these up? You're sick. Hmm. I don't know how much longer this is gonna work for. Oh, I think I know what we have to do. Use the typewriter to create a new story, something that'll get rid of these monsters. Martin's the only one who can write it. It's his typewriter now. No sweat. I'm a lean, mean literary machine. Oh, where's the typewriter? Back in my room. <laughs> It was a dark and stormy night. What? That's a good opening line. No offense, Mr. Prince, but I think I better handle the heavy story lifting around here. And then a swirling vortex opened beneath the three monsters, sucking them to another time and place. <laughs> mind of its own. Well, so do I. Martin, this is no time to joke. Our heroes are trapped on the roof as the monsters cause big trouble. Uh, uh, Martin? Not now, Billy. I didn't get to the part about how we get past the... Big trouble? Ah, big trouble, no begin to cover it. Uh, uh, bad doll, bad doll. Ah! <laughs> Come on, follow me. <laughs> okay, young man, enough's enough. Let the master handle this. I'm going to write about a spaceship that comes to Earth and destroys the monsters. That's the best the master can come up with? Please! Run, hide, run, and hide! <laughs> That's it. Give me the typewriter. No! <laughs> you know, I really like that typewriter, and I would love to have it right now! Diana, you just became the new owner of the typewriter! <laughs> The Giant Monster-Eating Exploding Tree of Torrington Academy. Hmm, good title. All right, put that typewriter down on the table. I'm gonna hit it with the eye cutter and get rid of it forever. Sorry, I think you're forgetting something. It's my typewriter now, and I still have a writing assignment to finish. Actually, it's the center's typewriter now. Billy told me about how you defeated the monsters. Nice work, Agent Lombard. Uh, thanks, Mom. Also, you'll be happy to know that we rescued the rest of the people from the honeycombs. What about Prince? 
He'll be doing a bit of community service, teaching writing at the center's alien enrichment school. Oh, that's great! So, how about letting me keep the typewriter for one last story, Diana's dashing knight on horseback? Sorry, no can do. We're gonna put this thing in the archives for safekeeping. Oh, there goes my literary career. I really wanted to write a series of stories. I was gonna call it Martin Mystery. You know, tell about all of our classic cases. Uh, no one would ever believe it. Hmm.